guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a chit chat giveaway with me. It's on this look right here using some of my panning project items. And so I just filmed this uh, look that I usually do. I want to do a little bit of, of makeup, but not too much. You know, I don't want to be here for seven hours doing my makeup. Or I feel like wearing a little bit more than just mascara and concealer. If you want to see how I did this and you want to get to know me a little bit better, then keep on watching. Okay, so so far I've already done my brows as you can see and I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and just to fill and shape my brows I use the Annabelle Skinny Brow in the shade Universal Light and now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to prime my eyelids with this and then I'm going to set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder Today for eyeshadow, I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I think I want to do something a little bit more simpler because I'm a little bit in a rush. I'm going to use my Morphe 35O and I'm going to go into a transition shade, which is this one right here, with my Morphe E27. And I'm just going to put this into my crease. Now I'm going to use a little bit of these two shades right here. I'm going to use my Morphe M433. Going into the orange one first. Just working on the outer part of my crease for right now. Did you guys watch the Olympics ever? Oh my gosh, I love the Olympics so much, I'm obsessed. I watch it all the time and I keep up with updates on Twitter and Canada set a world record, or I guess a Canadian record for the most medals at a Winter Olympics with 29, which is exciting. And we didn't even get uh, medals in women's and men's curling. We only got one in mixed doubles, which is pretty shocking for Canada. But we didn't even get those two medals and we broke our own record, so that is pretty cool. But we did get one in mixed doubles, which was the first time ever sport, and that was exciting. My favorite sport of the Olympics this year, I really, really got into snowboarding. I think Mark Van Morris is so hot. <laughs> but um, I love snowboarding, it is so sick. It looks so badass or whatever, just like, you know, like a surfer or a skateboarder, I don't know, I just... I like it. Then take a little bit of that brown I showed you. And mostly on the outer edge here. Can't mention the Olympics without mentioning Tessa and Scott. The heart of Canada. Oh my gosh. You just fall in love with them. I love them so much. They're amazing. And I can't believe they're retiring, but they're retiring with a gold medal. Like, F yeah. Like, oh man, talk about chills when watching that performance. And then after it, just all the energy just comes out. Yeah! And also Felicia George and Kaylee Humphreys, the women's bobsled team. Felicia George, she's a summer Olympian and a winter Olympian. And now she has, she, well she's always been a track or a hurdles superstar. Now she has an Olympic medal, but it's in winter. And that's so cool. We got a bronze in bobsled. Two women bobsled, which is awesome. I hope Kaylee Humphreys comes back for the next Olympics. But I don't know if, um, if there's any guarantee, but it'd be cool if she would come back for more time. Now I'm just going to take a deeper brown. I'm going to go into this one right here, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. kind of smudgy brush. Oh, and also our women's hockey team. Dang! Oh, I love them so much. Women, they have grit, they have passion. They're almost better than the boys. I would 100% say they were more, way more fun to watch than the boys this year. 100%. Because there's no NHL players in the Olympics this year. I always love the women because they have, they seem to have like so much more passion or just more, I don't know, it's so much more emotional and it was so good that gold medal game but it's too bad that we didn't win but in a weird way I'm kind of um, happy for the United States mostly because they don't get as much uh, recognition or support as Canada does for our um, hockey players, but we are not disappointed in our women whatsoever. There was so much support for them on Twitter. They should not feel so hard on themselves. I know it's not gold, and silver is never as good as gold, especially when you're winning um, in a gold medal hockey game. Like, you can't celebrate silver no matter what you do, but they shouldn't um, beat themselves up too bad because Canada still loves them no matter what. You got four freaking women's gold in a row. Like, how much better could we get? Five gold? Yes. But it's not like we never won ever before and we're disappointed like that. But 
I don't know, I'm going on a ramble. But anyways, now I'm going to get lucky and put this on my lids. This is the ColourPop Shadow. I'm just gonna blend this out just a little bit. So I just tie line my eyes with my little black eyeliner pencil and I just use the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna use this Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair. So do you guys have any thoughts or opinions on Tati's vitamins? Um, I'm happy for her to launch her cosmetics company, but did you see the size of those vitamins or supplements? Oh my gosh, they're like this big. But yeah, I'm not going to dog on her because hundreds of people have done it already and I don't think that's very fair. I really, really wish Canada had a freaking Alta. Domni Cosmetics is an Alta. Dose of Colors is an Alta. Colourpop is now an Alta. Oh my gosh, I wish I had an Alta so bad. Because everything I buy from ColourPop, through shipping, it always ends up broken. I'm not even joking. So if I had an Ulta, I could just get it in store and it would so, be so much better. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Just a little guy right here. That concealer did not react well to that powder. It really like bunched up. Now I'm going to use my Cover FX Pressed Minimal Foundation in the shade N10. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Funnel 3 brush. This guy right here. go into my uh, 35O palette and just work on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to grab this Eco Tools smudge brush. Now I'm going to bronze my face with the Body Shop bronzer in the shade medium using my Morphe M529. I'm going to highlight my face with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. This is a beach to open, but anyways, this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit darker in person, actually. My exposure is a little bit too high, but whatever. It's very pink, but when swatched, it's a little bit lighter of a pink. So it's definitely not this intense on your cheeks. Using my Morphe M501. I'm just going to line my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade 130 Dusty Rose. I'm not a huge fan of this packaging. It's very loose and the formula is not my favorite. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade, where are you? Loyalist? It looks like this color right here, but it's actually a little bit darker in the tube. It's not exactly the same color, but they smell really good. It has a really nice applicator. Yeah, this is more of a nude than what it shows on the packaging. Like, this is way lighter and pinkier. Anyways. This is a complete look. I hope you guys had fun watching this video and chit chatting along with me. It was just a quick get ready for me when I want to do a little bit more glam, but not too much. Like, I don't want to be sitting here for three hours, but I need to get out of the door, but I want to like look good, but like, you know how I feel. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for 200 subscribers or 205 subscribers when I'm filming this. That's awesome. I never actually thought I would ever get past like 70 subscribers. But as I can see, I can do it. And you guys can too. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!